On this day, January 14, 1963, we continued with the cold. In fact, Fort Wingate near Gallup dropped to negative 26 degrees overnight. That was the coldest low temperature on record there. And this January of 1963 was the fifth coldest January for New Mexico. Time now for the five facts. At number five, bringing history to life. That's the goal of a New Mexico man. Um, is ready for your next road trip. Jim Turr has created an audiobook based on the rough history of Las Vegas, New Mexico. Originally a classic book, Wild, Wildest of the Wild West, takes readers and now listeners to the outlaw and gunslinger history of Las Vegas. The audiobook is available online and in some select retail shops. At number four, for the next month, you will see more state police officers driving along the interstates here in Albuquerque, making sure the drivers are safe. APD reached out to state police asking for more help along I-25 and I-40 during the morning and evening rush hours. Typically, there are only two state police officers patrolling the interstates. For the next 30 days, there will be 12. After the 30 days are up, state police and APD will meet again to see if APD will still need the extra help. And at number three, today is going to be a bit breezy, but those breezy winds bringing in warm air. Temperatures today will make it back up into the mid 50s, 10 degrees above average for Albuquerque, and even warmer on the east side of the state. At number two, Albuquerque police are making sure that anyone selling a gun is obeying a new law. Now, that new law requires the background checks for all gun sales here in New Mexico, including private and person to person sales. APD says that it called 50 people on Monday to make sure or to arrange gun sales and to see if the seller would mention the background checks as part of that sale. Now, 14 people, they say, needed warnings about the new law. APD says so far detectives are giving warnings and eventually those could be filed as misdemeanor charges. And at number one, an Albuquerque man could soon be charged after police find items in his home linked to a carjacking. Back in November, surveillance video caught the terrifying incident when a 17-year-old high school student was leaving for school. On video, you can see a masked man approach him outside his Northeast Heights home, point a gun at him, and then take off with his car. Police believe that man is Miguel Chavez. Police say that Chavez is a convicted felon and was on probation at the time. You can find out more about the story later on this morning at alwaysonkrqe.com.